You know you're a teacher when... You get crazy excited about stationery. More than 10. Really? Both, mum and dad. Obviously much prefer <laughs> your subject than mine. A lot of it is baffling <laughs> to me. Uh, I've, I've learnt a lot of new words. One that's confused me is um, sick to mean good. That's eh? not new. That's not, and it's not new either. <laughs> History teacher. So words. Words, words in general. Yeah. Lesson planning, some um, possible strategies and behavior management. You don't really do. But I, I find it a bit awkward if I like lose my train of thought in the middle of explaining a task. And what I want you to do is It's so different. Mm. Every day yeah. is completely different. You are never bored. No. No. I feel more of a community than I thought. It's really, I feel like I'm part of a really good community. We had five glue sticks at the start of the lesson. We had five glue sticks at the start of the lesson. Oh, you go much louder. I go louder. Yeah, I like Shall I whisper it? I'll do it again. Subtle. I do, I, I do it more subtle. We had five glue sticks at the start of the lesson. Ooh, that was tense. Oh, that's, that's like Ofsted or anything. That was a bit Ofsted, yeah. Okay. I had a sheet and it was a drawing activity, shapes. Mm. And in the middle of it was like an explosion of ink. And he was like, am I ink? And my pen exploded. But you could see underneath that explosion that zero things had been completed. I don't think it's sort of maybe completely unfair, but perhaps coming from a history point of view, the, the stereotype of the history teacher as, you know, the el uh, patches on the you elbows. Love an elbow and patch. I do love an elbow <laughs> pad. You get crazy excited about stationery.